Okay, everyone, here I'm going to, I just washed my hair, I shampooed and conditioned it with the dark and lovely argan oil um, line shampoo and conditioner. With wash and goes, my hair gets super tangled if I don't really keep up on it. I'm just gonna use this Silk Shot Serum. I know like if you have a lot of hair, um, it's kind of hard to use like a dime size. But this is a, a like a protectant from blow drying. There is another spray that goes with this collection that I um, that I use when I flat iron. All right, so this is my hair. It's cut in like a, I tried to do like a tapered type look where it's, it was kind of shaved underneath there and then this this was kind of left long and I always do sections of four and it's a pretty quick process with the rev air dryer that I have I'm taking this amount of hair that I separated and we're gonna start with this this was really convenient I bump it up to two on the thing and seven on the settings like I use the highest settings so I'm putting on the highest suction and the highest heat so I'm going to get started it's noisy Now, it could be, what's that? Oh. Now, it could be stiff for me because, you know, I put all that product on there. So, you know, look look how frizz, it's frizzing up already. My head loves the frizz and it's not heat trained at all. So I'm gonna try a bigger section, which look how big this section is. Pretty big section of my hair. So. Okay, y'all, don't do this. Side note, don't do it. If that section was entirely too big. My hair ended up, it got dry, but it just wasn't as flowy as um, the other sections. Like, you saw that little part. You see how stiff it was. And actually, what happened on the piece before that that was frizzy because I accidentally turned the heat off while my hair was inside. So if you just want to dry your hair without using heat, then you're going to get like a fluffier, frizzier section because the heat really aids in straightening your hair with this process. So this, definitely don't put that much hair, especially if you have thick hair. Maybe if your hair is a little thinner, but don't, don't do this if you got thick hair. <laughs> Please don't do this, because you're about to see how it happens. Super stiff. Super stiff. <laughs> I play too much. Okay, now look at this. Now you see the difference between putting in small pieces of hair like I did in the front and big, big chunks of hair, which was in the middle. And you can see how frizzy it is in that middle part of my head. So small sections, best for that blowout look. So I'm just gonna take the comb. Woo! This is a comb that came with the, with the hair dryer. Oh, and this is the amount of hair, hair loss. I'm a heavy shedder, so, you know, I just, I'm gonna have hair just come out. Okay, I probably could do a, a wide tooth comb 
because this is a little too spaced out for like the thickness of my hair and at some point I definitely want to get rid of oh these ends I think I might cut this myself since the color is like a telltale kind of marker demarcation of where I need to cut it off I'll probably end up cutting off that um, that piece of hair but for now I won't get too scissor happy and um, with this I'm done my hair is clean it's blown out so I can pretty much just kind of French braid it back and just keep it protected all right thanks for watching